Hey everyone, it's JJ for Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. And welcome to episode 3 of You Ask, We Answer, a brand new series where we answer the questions that you ask us in the comments section of our videos. I have even more questions to answer, and I put them all in my trusty basket. And we're just going to answer them at random. So let's go. Let's do it. The first question is from Off The Grid with Doug and Stacy. Hey guys. Show how you type the questions at the bottom of the screen. Well, you can actually do that with screen recording. Let me show you how it's done. So what you'll need to do is open Filmora and start your screen recording. Then open a Word document and type. Once you're done, end the screen recording and locate the screen recording in the media library. Add the recording in the PIP track and add a mask to cover all unwanted surface and there you have it, all typed out. Let's check out the next question. All right, from Timmy Woofers. Can you use any solid color as a green screen? Yes, I believe you can. And I think Matt goes into this a little more in detail in the video of how to use a green screen, which I will link in the description box below. So if you want the answer for that, go check out that video. Okay? So next question is from Thaddeus Labarge. Can you add markers for marking effects and syncing? So that's a great question, and unfortunately, there isn't a way to add markers in Filmora officially. However, there is a trick or a hack that I'm gonna show you right now. So let's check it out. When you cut a video, you can add a blank or sample color from the media library. This acts as a marker for when you wanna add clips in that slot. Just add the clip and delete the sample color and voila, it's all ready to go. So you basically DIY'd your own marker in Filmora. So this question is from Anid Vines. Which country are you supporting this time in World Cup 2018? <laughs> oh no, I don't know. Ah, I don't want to upset anybody with my answer. Can I just say that I support both teams? Whoever wins, I will be happy for them and the country that they represent. So awesome. All right, so question from Edgar Simoes de Villa. Hi guys, what is the best volume for my YouTube video? What is the best way to adjust the background music, voice, and ambient sounds? Hugs from Brazil. Aww. That's a great question. And audio is really important to videos and it really depends on the type of video that you are trying to produce. So let's go ahead and take a look in Filmora and see what can be done. First of all, let's open up the audio mixer in Filmora by clicking here next to the render feature. Each one of these vertical bars represents a track on the timeline. You can move the gray dot that's in each one of the bars to raise or lower the volume until all the sounds blend nicely together. If your audio is too loud, then you'll see the green go from yellow and then even worse to red. In general, your audio peaks shouldn't go higher than zero and never reach the red zone. Your voice dialect should always be the loudest, of course, so try keeping it between minus 12 to minus 6 decibels. Sound effects and music will be quieter than your main dialogue, but this will also depend on your purpose and style. To be safe, maybe keep them in between minus 30 and minus 18. So these are just general guidelines. Remember that audio clips are different, so make sure you just trust your ears. Always listen with headphones and don't leave the volume on your computer all the way up while mixing. All right, so we have a question here from Gerald Blackwell. Hey, JJ. Hello. I have a very important question. Awesome. Is there any way to put transitions in the PIP line of your video? All right, so unfortunately not. So you can't add transitions to PIP tracks in Filmora. The only way you can add transition is in the main video track. However, this is on our wish list, so hopefully it'll be included in our next couple updates. So stay tuned for that. All right, cool. Okay, let's see. From Anna Trent, I have a question. What tips would you guys give to speed up editing? It's a great question. So you know what? Let me go and ask the team what they do to speed up their editing. I like to be very ruthless when I'm cutting down my footage. So if you're sort of 50-50 about a shot, just get rid of it. Just pick your best favorite shots and stick with those. There'll be things that I keep on repeating, like going to this location and I want to show where it is. So what I do when I repeat these things, that I could use the templates to just quickly uh, say, this is where I am. Do the big chunks first, like rough edit, fine tuning, and then do the details last. Oh. It's like, you don't want to design your room before you build the layout. 
Well, my tip would probably be something that's not really in the editing process. It's actually during the filming process. Okay. And that's shooting for the edit. So mm -hmm. when you're shooting, you already have an idea of how you're going to edit it when you get into your software. Organization. Mm -hmm. Organization is very important mm -hmm. because uh, if you have like a lot of footage and then you have to go through all of them, like, it's going to take you like a long, long time. But if you label some of your shots or at least like pre-select the ones mm -hmm. that you already think that are pretty good, then way you faster. Go. Awesome. And the question that you guys have all been asking for and waiting to hear about, <sighs> motion tracking. And I don't even need a basket to ask because I know all of you guys have been asking, see, from all these questions. We are aware of all the stuff that you guys have been asking about motion tracking. And it's really important to us that you guys really want this. Our team wants to make sure that whatever is decided that is included in future updates is the best that it could possibly be. So for now, we thank you for your patience. I know it's taking a bit of time, but we ask you guys to still remain patient. We thank you for all of your support, including all of the requests and suggestions that you guys give to us on how we can make Filmora better and better. As always, thank you guys for all of your questions. And keep them coming, because some of them have been so awesome that we've decided to make some of your questions into actual tutorials. Make sure to leave all of your questions that you want to ask us in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.